Alrighty guys, you're Sun Strider here. Welcome back to Sun Strider Sky to Coyotes Mech Warrior 5 mission types. Today we are finally doing the final mission in the pack. The final base game mission at least. And that is Patrol. And honestly, I'm really saving the best for last year because Patrol is a very difficult mission to talk about just because of the sheer amount of stuff that can actually occur on this mission path, alright? And, uh, also another reason is that Patrol's difficulty is more judged based on what the events you get rather than the difficulty itself, right? You can get a very easy 100 difficulty mission or a swarming 20 difficulty mission. Its unpredictable nature is a breath of fresh air among the stale and bland default Mech Warrior 5 missions, not the other missions in the mission pack. Those are nice and all, but Patrol really stands out for the uh, pinnacle of what Coyote is able to do with the game. And just the sheer amount of unpredictability in this mission pack really, in my opinion, makes it stand out. Alright. But it's also hard to develop a strategy for something that's so randomized, you know? You can prepare for an ambush, but end up getting a definite demolition event. And it's really all about being able to adapt to what you get. Alright. <clears throat> there are three stages to the mission. Each stage is a chance of spawning a random event. Patrol into the nav point, so pretty much the mission starts and you actually start moving. And evading the nav point, then activating the evac zone. I'm pretty sure Coyote added in a optional secondary nav point, but it pretty much acts in the same way, where it has a chance of spawning an additional event, but <clears throat> I haven't played around with the newest edition yet, so we'll see that for ourselves once we actually get into the game here. And uh, just a few examples of patrols, just because there's no real strategy of playing it. You can get <clears throat> you can get a single ambush upon activating the nav point, turning it into kind of like a war zone type mission. That's the most common type of event I've noticed in the past, where the mission will just turn into a war zone and then you evac and nothing else happens. You can get hit by overwhelming odds, a large attack of mechs dropped into your dropships, either unions or leopards. A joint patrol, which is definitely one of my uh, one of the most more enjoyable because it's actually something in the player's favor. <laughs> Alliance of Allied Max will deploy with you and move to the nav point, and you and the allies will kind of fight whatever happens. You can get massive tank or VTOL swarms. This is like 50 tanks or aircraft attacking you all at once. That's always an interesting light show of <laughs> lasers and auto cannon tracer fire and all that. You can rescue. Capture an occupied base, destroy an occupied base, a small percent chance, then you, you, nothing will happen. You know? You know, just because you're going out on the patrol doesn't mean something actually happened, right? <laughs> and the great thing about patrol is that there is stuff in here that I probably haven't even seen yet. And the funny thing is, is Coyote keeps adding more and more to patrol, right? The more and more knowledge he gets of modding, the more stuff he can do, so the more events he adds to patrol. So, like, every update or two, he adds, you know, like, two or three more freaking events in there, right? He's just constantly adding stuff. So there's stuff I haven't even fucking seen yet. But, uh, that's really all I can say about patrol. The only real tip I'd give you guys is maybe try to bring an airstrike or two, just in case it ends up being a demolish a base or something. As if it turns into a demolish a base, having that airstrike in your back pocket can go a long way to destroying that base. So, that's yeah, fucking... Patrol is a mission best explained in person and not through a... Well, I guess in mission and not through a presentation like this. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to jump right into it in just a second. Alrighty, starting it off small. Difficulty 18... A little bit short on tonnage, but I think we can. But I think we still got it. Obviously, I'm rocking the Ratatatouille. We got a Centurion with a Rack 2 and dual MRM10. Got a Quad ER Medium Laser Commando, and then a dual Light Auto Cannon 5 and Quad Medium Laser Enforcer. I'm probably going to do maybe at least one or two at each difficulty stage, maybe so we have enough 
to show off as much as possible, but I obviously don't want to stay up all night doing this, so uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we still have the single uh, patrol objective. Maybe the uh, dual, maybe the optional patrol objective only shows up in like an end game patrol. Or maybe he actually made that. And we do have an airstrike just in case we get a demolition. As I said, it's pretty, uh, pretty nifty to have that. Alright, two existing enemy forces. This is a pretty low difficulty mission so that doesn't surprise me there's only two existing forces. Alright. have a Javelin and a Spooda. We'll get them. Our employee reports airstrike support is inbound on your position. You should be able to call it in shortly. Oh god, the racks. Ah, no! Damn it. Uh, I really hate running into enemy mechs like that. Hmm, will we get another ambush? Uh, one million sea bills awarded at the end of the mission if optional target is destroyed within time limits. Time to kill high value target. Beg your pardon? What kind of high value target are we talking about here? Am I going to, you know... Is Captain Morris going to make a reappearance? Did Kyle finally add Morris into Mech Warrior 5? The man, the living legend himself, is he finally here? Like? Nope. Okay, well, that's... Well, that's depressing, but okay. <laughs> I thought I thought I curved a corner and automatically frick there goes half my machine guns and see a uh, a frickin' what do you call it a uh, an annihilator <laughs> just vibing up here. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Morris is pretty much like a meme character. Me and uh, Coyote have uh, I guess history with within Mech Warrior Five. With one of the random assassination targets to making a memorable impression. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm getting shredded. I got this. I got this. I got this slightly less. I got this slightly less. You guys kill him already? Okay! Oh, fuck. I guess that's what he means by optional objectives. I was not expecting to see that there, but, uh, hey! He almost fucking killed me! <laughs> My poor little flea! Alright, well, we're going 
to hit the evac. Okay, good. <laughs> Nothing else happened. There you go. Yeah, the mission itself was pretty simple. I went after the optional objective, which of course ruffled up my mech a little bit, but we lived at the end of the day, so uh, we'll see what else we can get ourselves into, eh? Right after there's a loading screen. Fucking finishes. Now see, if I was doing like an actual career mode, then obviously it'd be more beneficial to do that, but hey, what whatevs, right? Alrighty, another difficulty 18. We mixed up the mechs a little bit. I'm now running a dual light auto cannon 5, dual medium laser, and an MRM 10 on a Florentine Crab. We got a double SRM 4, double SRM 2 on a Locust, <clears throat> and the same commando and enforcer we were using last time. So let's see what we can do this time around. See, uh. mm, let's see what happens this time. Oh, whoopsies. Forgetting my weapon stuff. A mysterious haze has enveloped the battlefield. What the fuck? What does that mean? What do you mean, though, Coyote? What is this? I'm scared and confused. <laughs> Coyote, what have you done? <laughs> what do you mean, mysterious haze? Is the fucking, like, squad of urban mechs gonna jump me or something? What the fuck? <laughs> I am very concerned right now. Eliminate the mech ambush. Alright, we're being ambushed by uh, another mech, Lance. Oh, so, uh, it's important to note if you activate the nav point. And something has already, uh... If you have something like this mech stuff going on, or like, if something's already going on and you activate the nav point, the secondary effect that happens won't activate until the first one is dealt with. So say if I went and activated the nav point right now and we were to get ambushed a second time, that second ambush wouldn't spawn until, uh... We've dealt with the pre-existing enemies just to avoid, uh... Just to avoid uh, completely overwhelming the player, you know. That thing, what is that? Nobody go after that. God, these AI, this advanced AI, whatever Kaio did to the AI is just so much better. Holy shit. Oh, don't punch me in the face. Only I get to punch me in the face. Alright, let's see what else we get. Oh dear. An explosion behind us. We found a five tier weapon stashed away in the base when the mission to recover it. And we get additional ambushing enemies. Like, if I were to activate the nap one when we were still fighting the initial enemies, this second ambush wouldn't have started just yet. Why am I. I can't fucking see! I can't see! What is shooting me? Ah! And, uh, yes, there is a chance you may find a hero mech, a tier 5 weapon, 
I don't know if Coyotes added the abil ability to find a uh, his uh, experimental sentry turret launcher thing in there. But you might be able to. Don't hold me to that, though. Because he has re-enabled his sentry turret launcher, but you can only find it on a recon or maybe a patrol. I don't know about patrol. It might only be a recon. It's like I tell them to attack a mech now and they actually go and shoot at the mech and I'll have a circle jerk with them. It's great. You know, they actually feel like they're somewhat player-like going for a center torso shots. I just fucking snapshotted that guy skeet shooting with lasers and Vulcans. <laughs> yeah, I really like the mech changes. Whatever you did, Coyote, whatever you did to make them actual, like, you know, competent, <laughs> is very nice. Definitely helps in the higher tiered missions. Got him eventually. One more thing somewhere out here. I don't know what this mysterious haze BS is, though. Is it hiding an assault mech in the corner of the map I haven't seen yet? Maybe it's just, you know, a miscellaneous weather effect that doesn't actually do anything and I'm being paranoid again. <laughs> See back. <coughs> Don't mind me, I'm just dying over here. Boo. And I'm pretty sure for anybody wondering, I think it's a maximum of two events that it c can occur on a uh, singular mission. So you won't be ambushed three times in a row, for example. That is, again, a balancing act because even Coyote agrees that having three consecutive ambushes may be a bit too much. So, yeah. Just thought I'd let you all know as well. Alrighty. Yes, we can bump up the difficulty a little bit now. Alrighty, difficulty 31. I'm keeping the Florentine crab because I actually kind of like this build. We got a light goss cicada. Hopefully they actually do good. We have a hunchback with a clan LB-20X AC dual medium pulse laser and an MRM-10. Kind of mixing up the, uh, the uh, inner sphere and clan tech there, but oh well. And the same enforcer as last time as well. So, let us jump into it and see what happens here. Alrighty. A 
investigate additional point of interest. Okay, so this is what I this is what I meant by additional optional objective here. Right. I guess it's a similar optional event and not like a you know a high difficulty end game patrol thing like we saw with the rescue. I mean, what happens if we go to the additional point of interest? I'm going to go to the additional point of interest first, though. Just in case. I wish there was some sort of, like, fucking thermal view. Okay, what's going on in here? What up, motherfuckers? We in your base stealing your shit. I'm gonna blow that up beforehand. Stay in circle to perform a scan of the area. Interesting. Yeah, I just destroyed that before one of us steps on it. Before one of us. Why are we scanning this? I don't know. You have found two drone operated locusts? Two drone operated locusts near the nav site. The drone max will assist you for the rest of the mission. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking cool! Oh my god, drone operated max! Yo! That's fucking dope, actually! <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> okay, well, what do they have, though? Laser and machine gun. Laser and machine gun. I don't I mean, fuck it, I'll take it. Why not? Oh my god, and he acts like, and they act like actual, like they're actually a part of the squad. Like they follow me and all everything. Yo, that is fucking cool, though. How the fuck did Kyo get this to work, eh? I mean, it's probably not that difficult. You know, you just spawn in a couple of allies and order them to follow the player, I guess. But, dude, that is awesome. Like I said, man, shit's being added into this mission type that I don't even know, dude. <laughs> Aw, oh, don't tell me this is gonna be wasted on a fucking nothing happening. Oh man, that sucks. I wonder if you get to keep these mechs if you, uh, in the, if you're doing like an actual campaign or something. That's uh, yeah, you know, a little. We're taking our locusts out for a walk. Don't mind us. But yeah, that's the uh, nothing happening thing. It's a shame that the shame that us finding a couple of mechs were wasted on that though. Damn. But yeah, you know, there is a small percent chance that uh, you get an easy paycheck. So there you go. That was cool, though. How, like, two friendly mechs show up. Yeah, yeah sure, they're a weak little locust light mechs, but hey! <laughs> Just having it in general is nice, you know? Couple more AI to take a girl off of you, you know. Couple extra guns in the fight, you know. But uh, yeah, I will probably going to be doing another one at difficulty 31, in case you haven't noticed. But yeah, that was cool. I that was to that that caught me off guard. I'll be honest, you know. That that was that was some nice shit. Alright, as I just said, we're going to be redoing the difficulty 31. I just changed the map a little bit so it wouldn't be the exact same mission seed, so... Let's go! Hmm. 
There's a go. I see we can actually get some combat, eh? Ooh, hello! Looks like we got ourselves a sneak attack. Yep, eliminate sneak attack. Don't mind me, I'm uh, being like a peg of aim right now. So we can uh, speed things along here, all right? Enemy forces moving in, <clears throat> More ambushing enemies, all right, all right, all right. that cannon shell. <clears throat> what do we got? Another goddamn Vulcan. A flea with an ERPPC. Ow. Thing. Let's go ahead and just make our own door in there. Eh. Got the 
attention. I'm showing multiple oh, do we? incoming on your position. Oh, do we? Coming in via dropship in there. That two hunchbacks, that is in fact two hunchbacks. We're on it, Commander. Eek. Eek. <clears throat> fuck go back. Fuck go back. Fuck go back. Ugh, fuck go back. Ow. Trying to face tank him, and that's not an enforcer, but I'm trying to face tank him and it ain't working. There we go. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Emergency swap. Emergency swap times two. Okay, there we go. Oh, the enforcer got clapped. I just realized. Victory is ours, Commander. That was a little rough around the edges, but we got it done. Almost lost the Florentine. That would not have been nice. couple more difficulty tiers to go so let's keep going all righty difficulty 57 we have an interesting thunderbolt here an erppc quad not quad six medium chemical lasers and two light auto cannon twos we have a quad ac2 burst fire jaeger mech the laser hopper and the clan srm catapult so let us see what we get into this time. Ooh, another additional point of interest. Gotta love it when you punch a tree and it spontaneously combusts. Oh damn, we got that fucking, uh... We got that, like, giant mech factory thing that you can walk into and stuff. Existing Schmenemy forces somewhere. Uh, yeah, there they are. They're not really existing enemy forces if they land in a dropship, but sure. Whoa! Alright. A simple no would have been nice, you jackass. Yeah. Mm. 
me. Oh god. The rat -a tat The rat -a tat is strong with this one. What do you mean? <laughs> Fuck. Team Rocket blasting off again. I wonder if it's always going to be scanning the area. Optional zone was ambushed! Oh. Oh, good. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what we needed. Ow! Oh, God. Oh! Oh no! Okay, Grasshopper, can you not fucking follow my goddamn footsteps and always be in front of me? Thank you. Alright, second to that guy. Alright, that was an XL build. Whew, and our Jaeger mech is dead. God damn it. As much as I want to try to use the Jaeger mech, it's always a goddamn failure. No, I do not consent! Ow. Fuck. That guy's shredding me. Okay, well, 
Found a tier 5 weapon stashed away at the base. That's nice. God. That was a nasty, nasty mission. At least it's immediate into at least it's immediately into an evac, but yikes that optional objective can get you. Let's get out of here, Commander. Yeah, let's Hold get on. the fray out of here indeed. Screw your goddamn production facility. Oh man. So I guess it's not always going to be a scanned location, it's just kind of there. Yeah, and it changes and all that stuff, but uh, we still got a little bit to go, so uh, let's get to it. Alrighty, another round in difficulty 57. We got the same Thunderbolt, Grasshopper, and Catapult, but we got a Nurture here chock full of MRM 10 so we'll see how well uh that guy the we'll see how well uh this chick handles this I guess so let's go One of these days I'm gonna prove my theory about always taking an airstrike with me right, and it's gonna be a demo. One of these days, one of these missions, one of these... And before he took it out just to mess with me. I mean, I'm a heavy mech, I can just smash through the wall, what am I doing, I'm an idiot, whatever. What am I- Ah! Shit, not JPEG, oh shit, not JPEG, run, not EXE, run, not EXE, run, not EXE! Quick, back the way we came! Holding fire! We've been cleared for airstrike support on this mission, Commander. I'll give you the all okay. Overwhelming gods, and it's three minutes, not two minutes. Where are the overwhelming odds exactly? I don't. Oh, here they come. Oh, here they come. Eat MRMs. Eat MRMs. <laughs> All right, everybody, run to that corner of the map. Run to that. We'll run to the corner of the map and stand our ground for the three minutes that we need to. And once we get here, we'll uh, turn off hold fire error. Go ahead and holy sweet Jesus. Um, yeah, that's uh. Reach the waypoint. And apparently they don't come in through Leopard Dropship anymore. They only come in just on the map or uh, through uh, Union Dropships. Holy shit! Moving to grid location. Hello. Uh, 
Alright, we'll go ahead and just uh, kind of chill here now. And you don't have to uh, evac after this either. It's literally just sit here and survive for uh, a couple minutes. And then you wind. Oh, hello, the Cyclops. Don't mind me. I'm a backstab you here, and I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I was trying to do something there, but it didn't work out, obviously. Okay. Woo! That was intense. Yeah. Holy shit, that was intense. But we got it. We got it. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with that bit, with that encounter. As soon as you see overwhelming odds, fall back to a corner of the map and plant yourself. Stand your ground there because holy shit, that is. That is intense, but, uh, alrighty, that was the 57 tier, we'll move up and continue on. Alrighty, difficulty 79, we got the Atlas, UAC-10, du Tro Qu <coughs> Quad SRM-6 and Dual Medium Pulse Laser, the same Archer, and the, s the same Archer we had last time, the 6 Snubnose PPC Awesome, and the default hero marauder only thing i did with this is move the goss ammo to the legs so um yeah let's jump into this starting to roll with the big boys now oh boy another additional point of interest here we go ah shit here we go again Yeah, it looks like the optional objective is on the way to the primary objective, so we might as well do it. Uh. Mm. Oh. Oh. No. Nah. Don't, don't mind me, just <laughs> choking on my own shit again. Hey, look, it's the attack and defend base. Mm -hmm. Nope, existing enemy forces. Hang on, let's let's avoid activating the optional objective right away. Well, it is pretty far, but if it's another ambushed thing, we're kind of screwed. Nope. If you find the acquisition, Hang on. Just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Gotta squeeze our fat ass in here. Hang on. I'm in range. Give me the scan. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hurry. The existing enemy forces are coming. Hurry up. Scan the fucking zone. Scan the zone. Hurry. Ah, uh, we unfortunately found nothing at that optional map point. Oh well. At least we could focus on, uh, you know, surviving. Ooh, right now. Oh, 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 oh no, oh dear, oh no, oh no, it is, oh, oh god, it is a fucking. It is a frickin', ah! Okay. Go 
go after these things first. This one's not an XL. Seen a Highlander in a while. Oh, rest in peace, Archer. After that thing, I'll keep yielding King Crab busy. Ow! Thank you. You're PPC and a Goss. Interesting champion build. Blowing the guns, blowing the guns. Okay, ambushing enemies. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me repair. Let me repair. Let me repair. Might as well use them. We're here. Might as well use these things if we're if they're vibing. Okay, you don't need it really. Uh where's the Marauder? There's the Marauder. Marauder, turn your ass back around! On location, Commander. I'm not surprised he was able to step through that one. Yep. Might as well stay in the Marauder. Mm. It's like that. Oh, it's the attack and defend base. Seize Fortress Turrets. Oh shit, it's the attack and defend base. <laughs> hey, we got it done though. I mean, we kind of lost the Archer at the end of the day, but hey, it's fine. It'll buff out, right, Archer? Where yeah, buddy. One of these corpses is you. Ah, there you are. Yeah, yeah, old buff out, right, buddy? Yeah, it'll be fine. Where? Where? Okay, so unfortunately this uh, this match here has seemed to have bugged out, so we will return to the instant action menu and uh, continue on, I suppose. Alrighty, difficulty 100 patrol. We got the Atlas, same as last time, the Rackalator, the Hay Crab, and the Snub Nose PPC. Awesome. Go ahead and see what we get.
additional point of interest all the way over there. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Sorry, Commander. Oops. Airstrike mm. support is not available. Not available We've yet. Ah, then then you say that. Range. No, god dang it. Stupid ledge. Be over there in just a minute, Mr. Golden Nav Point. Gotta go boop your gray ass friend in the face. Hey, look, artillery. Oh, what? What? How small can you make the circle coyote? Eeh, my mech does not even fit. <laughs> wow, dude. Damn. Huh. Oh, double heat sinks. Cool. Double heat sinks on the game mode that it doesn't even matter on. Oh well. can activate the real nap point. I think this is the same spot, same base tile as the one used in the Kestrel Lancers DLC where you're doing the war games or whatever. You have uh, another tier 5 weapon stashed away at the base. Interesting. <coughs> <laughs> Stupid trees! Get out of my way! Alrighty. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Stand by. Nice little walk in the fields there. Uh, nice little tropical rain storm. Rain storm. You know, I've always wanted. I've always wanted to actually just wander around in like a storm or something. I don't know. I like the rain. I've always wanted to experience like a proper full rainstorm. Because any rain, any like intense rain we get down here lasts like five minutes. It's kind of lame. But anyway, since that was a pretty lame patrol for difficulty 100, I am going to sneak another one in here for you guys. So uh, let's uh, get right on that. Alrighty, literally doing the same mech set up here so let's 
wait for it to load and get on in. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Mm -hmm. well, we're probably gonna have to go around this. Kind of, at least. Oh, sneak attack! Sneak attack! Ah! Fuck, go back. Just go after that thing. We've been cleared for airstrike support on this mission, Commander. I'll give you the OK once you're in target range. Crap, 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 crap. God, the fucking thumpers, no wonder. I got that one at least. Holy crap, okay. That was intense. And we're still going, too. I thought... Okay. <laughs> oh God. Please let there not be anything more we have to do. Or else I'm switching to another mech. Ah! Ah! 
God. Shredded. Fucking shredded, dude. Fuck. The absolute rack beast. Warhammer and Orion. Lose my voice doing this shit. What are you doing, Atlas? Don't just stand there. You're getting peepee seed. What? what one is that? Okay. Group target received. Okay, there we go. Now he's no, no, now he's working again. All right, he just need a little pick me up. Oh. Uh... Oh shit, I'm out of rack ammo, oh no! Come here, you little shit! Come here! I won't give you a hug, come here! Don't you run away from me! Don't you run away from me! Don't you run away from me, come here! Come here! Oh, he's backing up! He's scared, boy! Come here, you! Ah! Weird, you were like stuck on your orders or something. All right. Actually ran out of rack ammo. God damn it. Let's get out of here, Commander. Job well done. Atlas looking a little extra quispy over there. <laughs> quispy. Alrighty, and that I think concludes patrol. A lot of different options, a lot of different things that can happen. It gets pretty intense, especially at those later difficulties, but, uh... Minus that one bugged mission, which I'm gonna have to tell Kyot about, it went alright! And, uh, next on the list, I'm going to, uh... Probably dive a little bit into the end game missions, but I'm also going to explain a bit of a challenge run that I'm going to be doing now that I've done the, uh, guide. I'm going to be starting that on Twitch and all that stuff. So, uh, maybe I'm probably going to start it on Twitch, but I'm probably going to pre-record a lot of it. But, uh, ah, there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and appreciate the time and effort I put into all this stuff. And, of course, all the time and effort Coyote put into making this mod itself. He is the big star of this whole thing, after all. 
He is the one putting countless hours into the MechWarrior 5 editor. I'm just the one who... I'm just the one who plays it, you know? I did a lot of early beta testing, but I'm too busy to do a lot of that anymore. So uh, I'm, I'm just a guy who plays it now, but uh, thank you all so much for watching this series so far. I do have at least another video to make on this, but that's going to be a general overall conclusion. A little bit of info into what I can gather about in-game missions. And then talking about the uh, challenge run I'm going to be starting to. So, uh, yeah. See you guys then. And uh, I really botched up this ending. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out.